So I refuse to buy a phone without a headphone jack, especially a brand new flagship, top of the line, expensive smartphone. Because despite what some people would like you to believe, there is no reason to get rid of it. None. No excuse. All the courage talk is just a cover for the real reason they're getting rid of it. <laughs> some people buy into the whole there is no space excuse, which is total BS. If they can put a headphone jack and a stylus into a phone, there is no reason your phone can't have a headphone jack too. Besides, they design the things. It's not like they're getting it from somebody else and have to just make it work. They design it to fit whatever they want in it. Other people still seem to believe that ditching the headphone jack makes it easier or makes it possible at all to make a phone water resistant, which is stupid because this is my LG V30 headphone jack and all and it's IP68 rated. IP being ingress protection, six meaning dust tight, eight meaning immersion for long periods, okay. Headphone jack and all, so stop being naive, people. And then there's those that like to take the snooty Apple approach. The we need courage, courage. approach. These are the ones that make reference to the disappearance of floppy disks and CDs and, you know, whatever. And, oh, I bet you really miss your floppy disk, don't you? Things change. Get with the times. A, stop being a prick. B, I have no idea why you're making excuses for the cell phone companies. You don't owe them anything, so stop it. And C, yes, absolutely, technology does change. The thing is, all that stuff went away because something better came along. Not something sufficient, not something good enough, something better. Floppy disks were replaced by CDs and DVDs. Much higher capacity, affordable, everyone loved them. CDs and DVDs were replaced by the streaming services. Netflix, Pandora, Spotify, you know, all those. People simply quit carrying CDs and buying CDs at all or they were carrying things like this. Little thumb drives, little USB devices. This particular one holds 128 gigs of data. It's tiny, it's lightweight, it's a lot more durable than a CD, and it cost maybe 20 bucks-ish. <laughs> Better things came along, which led to those things fading away. Makes sense, right? Meanwhile, standard Bluetooth is barely passable. It's barely good enough. If I'm listening to an audiobook or if I'm at the gym or something, I don't really care. I'll use some wireless earbuds. I even have OnePlus Bullets 2. Bullet 2s? Bo a pair of blue... Whatever. Bluetooth is not better than a wired connection in any way. The sound quality is not as good. You get pops and crackles and stuff from here and there. You get interference and stuff with Bluetooth. Even the best Bluetooth headphones, I've had that happen. It's another thing you have to charge. Basically, the only thing Bluetooth has going for it is the fact that it's wireless. So before everyone starts with the, but it's wireless crap, is your goal to be wireless or to stream audio? Audio, all right, exactly. So yeah, I don't care if it's wireless or not. If it sounds like crap, who cares? So now all the excuses and BS are out of the way. What's the real reason all these companies are getting rid of it? Specifically speaking on Apple, uh, I think they did it for a very specific reason and that being that is the only open source port on the entire device. To make stuff that's officially supported by the Lightning port, you have to pay Apple a fee. And having a port that they can't charge for probably made them a little bit angry because, you know, they're Apple. So I think that's part of the reason they got rid of it. I talk about that more in the, the video up here, so check it out if you want to hear a little bit more about that. More broadly speaking, there's a very, very simple reason they're doing this. Think about this. The first iFail without a headphone jack, the iPhone 7, Debuted in September of 2016, right? AirPods debuted a couple months later in December. Google ditched their headphone jack with the Pixel 2. That came out October 2017, just barely a year later. Debuted right alongside their new Pixel Buds. OnePlus waved bye-bye to the headphone jack right when their bullets came out. And most recently, Samsung kicked the jack to the curb with the announcement of their new Note 10 and 10 Plus. A phone that I was actually looking very much forward to. But wouldn't you know, it doesn't have a headphone jack. Debuted right alongside their new Galaxy Buds. Amazing, right? Both Google and Samsung mocked Apple quite a bit about ditching the headphone jack. Yet they still followed suit. I don't know about you, but I'm seeing a pretty clear reason as to why they're getting rid of it. Has nothing to do with space. Has nothing to do with water resistance. Has nothing to do with courage. Courage. Technology moving on. None of that. It's money. 
gotta get that money. They want to force us to buy wireless earbuds. Their wireless earbuds, preferably. And they will continue to try to give us less and charge more until we say, nope, not doing it anymore. As long as people buy the junk, they'll keep on. And I don't fault them for trying, but I'm not buying. You shouldn't either. Now with Aptex HD, which is built into Qualcomm chips, like the ones in Samsung phones and my LG V30 and other uh, Snapdragon phones, audio quality is mostly on par with a wired connection. It, it sounds fine. That's actually the reason I got the OnePlus Bullets too, because I wanted to check it out and see how the audio quality was, if it still dropped and crackled and everything else. And actually it kind of does a little worse than standard Bluetooth as far as connection quality goes. It's a trade-off, I guess. They're fine for the gym, they're fine for audio books, they're fine for when I'm putzing around the house, but still, they're not as good as a wired connection, especially when you have the quad DAC that's in the V30. So even with that, Bluetooth is still not better than a wired connection. And if you want to use Bluetooth, I still can. It, it still works. I still have Bluetooth. Aptex HD at that. But I also have the option. I'm recording the audio for this video on the phone using the headphone jack. It's a nice option to have. I know we've all been traveling before and had our Bluetooth headphones die, getting ready to get on the plane and you're like, well, damn it. I just plug in a cheapo pair of earbuds. I always have a spare pair with me. Good to go for the flight, no problem. So until something truly better than a wired connection comes along, I'm not buying a phone without a headphone jack. I'm gonna hold out as long as I can and at the rate we're going, ah, my days might be numbered of this. So I implore you, don't buy the junk. It's up to us to change them. It's up to us to make them realize that, hey, you know, people do care about this. Uh, some people don't wanna buy our wireless Google Pixel Ear AirPod Buds and have them give us the option back because there's no reason not to.